Hi and welcome to this video where I'm going to share to you my second design for the A320 FCU rotary knob with push and pull functionality. Now the reason why I made this new design is because the first one which I got from Thingiverse is using this knob which has no push uh, capability so as a result the knob design is much bigger because we have to insert two of these buttons for the push and pull functionality also the entire uh, case is much bigger so you need more PLA for 3D printing. So this one is much smaller because reason I prefer this is in my area this knob is much more uh, available. It's very common, it's cheaper and uh, there's a lot of stock. This knob also has a built-in push functionality so we only have to worry about the pull feature of the knob. So the, this case is, uh, I, I designed this myself. Uh, I'm going to provide the STL files on the description below. And all you need is uh, this kind of switch, which also comes in very popular and very abundant in area. It comes like this. So what I do is just to cut off the other side, whichever side doesn't matter, cut it off and you probably need to solder it first before mounting like this. This rotary you have to keep uh, all the five legs because this, these two uh, legs are for the push button whereas this one is for the left and right rotary. Ignore this bit here, this is for uh, structural purposes. If you need to mount this on a PCB for instance. So all you need is this, this switch, uh, this rotary knob with the push functionality. Again, I'm gonna uh, provide all the links in the description. This I decided myself, I designed myself rather, sorry. And I'm gonna uh, give it for free. Uh, links in the description as well. This I also uh, 3D printed myself uh, with the exact uh, standard measurement for the knob like so. Right, so let's do this. Uh, first, we insert this knob here. Uh, like so. And then you may not use this knot at all if you just glue the rotary within the plastic because chances are your panel may be about five or six millimeter thick and this knot uh, reduces that clearance but for the for purpose of this video I'm just gonna put it right here so that it, it doesn't fall from its place like so so just insert it right here right there's a little stopper on each of these posts this is to avoid the, the so-called drawer of getting out of the way like so and then uh, put this switch in place. Right here. And there you go.
Thanks for watching.